Okay guys, just a quick update to my uh, 50 Beowulf deer hunt video. Uh, this is my 50 Beowulf and I just want to relate to you an incident that happened during that hunt and uh, no damage occurred but it could have been worse and I just want to relay that to people and uh, Maybe you could save somebody else an issue. So, this is one of the rounds for a 50 Beowulf. It's a 325 grain. Uh, see if I can get a close up on that. Give you an idea of its size. It's uh, loaded with a Barnes. 325 grain copper solid many of you if you watch my videos you also know that I have a 450 Bushmaster this is a 450 Bushmaster round and you can see that they're pretty close in size not I mean you can tell if you're looking at it obviously one's got a red tip one doesn't but uh, you know not too hard to mistake, right? Okay. So, for demonstration purposes, I've disassembled the uh, Beowulf upper from the lower, removed the uh, bolt and the charge handle, as you can see, right here, and I've completely cleared the weapon. And as many of you know, I also own a 450 Bushmaster and I hunt with it and you may also know that they share several things in common and one of them is they both fit the lower receiver of an AR but the other one is, is that they both basically use the same AR magazine that fits the 223 they're all interchangeable now if you've watched my video you'll also know that it took several shots to take this deer down and finally when I climbed down out of my stand uh, went to track this animal and I threw my pack on and reached into one of the back zipper pockets just just reaching behind me and grabbing a few extra rounds and loaded them into the magazine and lo and behold one of the rounds that I grabbed unbeknownst to me was the 450 Bushmaster round and I dropped it into the magazine and the other round was a 50 Beowulf round which I loaded on top when I put that coupe de gras shot in that animal it took this round out and put this round in the chamber except it didn't go in the chamber this round dropped right down now had I needed to shoot again it obviously wouldn't have fired because that round is too far down in the chamber and I would have automatically grabbed the charge lever and slammed another round in behind it but it doesn't fit I mean, as fate would have it it does stop but it could have set off the other round just by slamming forward with the tip of this round onto the primer of the round down below so even people that have a lot of experience can make a mistake now I will tell you I did not realize this had happened until I got home and decided to uncase my gun a few days later to clean it down and run a boar snake through it and it it did cross my mind I thought man that that was really weird you know I shot finished off that deer 
and then I went to clear my weapon and nothing came out and I thought well damn I knew I loaded a couple rounds in there you know that's kind of weird but you know you're getting busy you're gutting a deer you're you're dragging it out and you know even when you look in the board you don't see anything in there uh, to check it and see if it's clear well you can't because it's a couple inches down the tube so uh, that's my story so I just just wanted to let everybody know you know be careful out there uh, I don't care how experienced you are uh, accidents can and do happen and, and this is how things can go really bad really fast so you guys take it easy and I look forward to making another hunting video in the future so I'd like to know your thoughts on this have you had any uh, near misses in the field something similar to this uh, let me know in the comments section down below